All right, guys. Sean here. Um, nothing much to say really, but sling update. <laughs> Well, I was just going to do uh, do a little update and feeding on the the slings um, that I rehoused the other week, um, and a couple of others that are on the other shelf. Um, and yeah, just jump straight in, I suppose. Well, let's go for the first one. This is uh, the Pilugardi. I do apologize apologize about the glare on the top of here, uh, but all will become clear once the top is off. Uh, made its nice self a nice little uh, burrow down the side um, actually goes in here and goes round and underneath so I'm just gonna some water on there just so it's got some water and we'll see whether it'll come out for something to eat shall we ain't too huge for it As I say, these things never wriggle unless you want them to. Right, let's see. Where are we going to put you? Right there, I think. I have seen movement. see much of that but Peter Gardy ah this one is the suspected Heliobrachis discolus um, as you can see it's made a nice little burrow so we will see if we can entice it out and, and there we go and there it's gone well, we saw it briefly, but it's feeding the suspected Heliobrachis cane kraken. Um, you, you look quite wriggly and you're quite small. And we'll see whether it will come up this time. It is just literally under here at the moment. And you're going to go and hide as well. Oh, you can. Well, no, okay. Um, well, that one's been lost. And saying that, the thing's just come out the top there. And it's just coming out as well. So we're going to put you right there. And yes, we got a feed. <laughs> it got it in the end. It got it in the end. Uh, this is the Pteranoculus murinus. It was just sitting on top. And it's now decided to go in. Um, its burrow is actually right here. I don't know if you can actually see that on camera. So we're going to stick a little worm. Right there and see where it's going to come out. And yes, here it comes. And it's got it. And it's gone. This is the other Pteranoculus murinus. It is literally just sitting right underneath there. It's just been scampering around all over the place. Um, it's not, from what I can tell, done much of a burrow. Um, all webbed up much. But we will see whether it will eat. 
here, will I? Guns. There we go. You enjoy. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, this is my Nandu Colorado Velosus. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Really. Um, it has molted the last time I was feeding. Um, so we shall try it now. See if it's going to feed feed for us. It's usually quite good, or it has been quite good. I don't hide the sod. See legs. And, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> well, it's eaten. <laughs> May not have been a good show, but it's eaten. <coughs> well, this is one of my Harpactera pulchropes. Um, its abdomen is looking really rather large, so I'm not going to give it anything big. I'm going to give it a little ditty one. I don't want her to explode, it to explode. May not even eat. We'll just do a little one. Just to see. I'm not showing much interest at the moment. But would have thought it would have been pouncing on it by now if it did want to eat. Right, let's see if we can get that off then, shall we? Because you're not going to eat it. This is the other Hopactera pulchropes. Um, it is just down in there. Let's see if I can point it out. Oh, there we go. There's legs. Uh, I assure you there is legs, it's looking about the same size as the other one so I'm just going to give it some water and leave it alone because I'm pretty sure it's not going to feed. Um, I'm pretty sure they're both coming up for pre-malt to be honest. This is my Hattie Hattie. That's amazing, when it was a little one before it molted it was quite happy sitting under a piece of wood with some moss on it. No, no problem, quite happy doing that. It molted. Now it's now it's just exploded. The container has now just exploded. To be honest, it's web and dirt and everything everywhere. Um, but hey, I can see it, so that's the main thing. So we shall try it. It's probably going to just disappear once it's got it. I'm trying to figure out the best place to put this because it's actually in this hole here I can you can just about see legs just here so it's not that far away but it's just whether it's actually going to come up for us I'm trying to think of the best way to put this I'm just going to put it on top I hope Oh, here we come. And there we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. The Ornithoctonus oreotibialis. It's another mouthful, isn't it? It has literally just gone down into that side of the burrow. Um, I don't know whether... 
can see feet. So I'm going to try and stick it over here and see whether it's going to come out. Oh, there it is. It's giving us a lovely pose. Look at that. It's almost like it loves being on camera. Ah, there you go. As you can see, they're all doing well. Um, there were a couple I didn't show because uh, I'd noticed they'd molted. Um, and I didn't see the point in um, disturbing them too much. So hopefully we'll catch them on the next round. Um, yeah, if you like what you see, so give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate every single subscriber. Um, really helps me out. Really helps the channel out. Makes me feel good. I like feeling good, so make me feel good. Okay. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, more coming up. Uh, another rehouse of my AGEN, AVIC. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Until then, keep crawling.